a costume. I'm all dressed up. I am a dragon ninja. So thank you so much. I don't have the mask on because I want you to be able to hear me talk. So, uh, and we have a special Halloween category. That's right. A special Halloween category with special Halloween questions. Are you excited? I'm excited. Woo! All right. So we're just going to go over the rules real quick. Um, and then we're going to get our contestants into the box. All right. So here we go. Now, this is Tic Tac Trivia. Our contestants are going to take turns answering trivia questions, trying to get three X's and O's in a row. And if they do, they move on to the bonus round. Now, we have two shots of the bonus round, usually. Sometime, uh, sometimes time allows for more, uh, but usually there's two. So whoever wins the most bonus rounds will be declared our winner. Very exciting. If they both win or they both lose, uh, or if there's a tie, then we go into sudden death. Um, at the end, you're going to hear a sound like this. Uh, and then that will be uh, time for sudden death. Very exciting. So we have categories like 2000s, 90s, TV and movies. Of course, our special Halloween category, history, science, sports, 80s, and geography. How exciting. We also have some wild categories. One is, in fact, wild. So if you get this card, you have um, the ability to put your X or O wherever you want on the board, wherever um, there isn't an X or an O. There's chance. Uh, if you get this one correct, you have the chance to go again. If you get it incorrect, your opponent has the chance to steal. Speaking of steal, there's also a steal. So if you get this one correct, uh, you will be able to put your X or O uh, wherever your opponent's X or O is. That's right. You can boop them right out of there uh, and you can take their spot. So... There we go. All right. How exciting. So we're going to get our contestants into the box here in just a moment. Um, when we uh, get our contestants in, I got a little popper. It's going to tell us who goes first. Uh, they're going to pick the X or O. Um, and then we're going to get them into the box. Whenever we get back up to the first person, you're going to hear this sound. And that means our categories are going to switch around. So they will not stay in the same spot every time. There we go. All right. So let's get our contestants into the box. Now, please, contestants, please request the box. And audience, please feel free to play along. That's right. Our contestants won't be turning off their comments because they want to see what you have to say. You can help them. You can hinder them. Please feel free to play along. Uh, if you don't know, feel free to say something hilarious, something ridiculous. You know, you go for it. You guys have fun in the comments. All right, let's get our contestants into the box. We have Melville tonight and Storm Chaser. All right, we have Melville and Storm Chaser in the house. And our contestants are invited to wear costumes tonight. So uh, we'll see if they're all costumed up. Put on my hood here for uh, effect. It says there's no one in there. Michael Parker, hello. All right. So this is Tic Tac Trivia, everybody. If you're just getting here, we're just about to get our contestants into the... Oh, there they are. Weird. Okay. All right. Welcome, you guys. <laughs> Melba, welcome. Yay. Thank you for joining us. I'm going to find out your costumes in just a moment here. Storm Chaser, welcome! Oh, okay! <laughs> I love that. It's gonna tell me about your costumes here. Welcome, you two. Welcome. What are we dressed as tonight? Um, well, I was originally the Grinch with a Halloween getup for my auction earlier. However, okay, I couldn't breathe, and so we had another outfit underneath, which is just our pirate outfit and just fun and just you know just a little bit cooler, uh, because right. it, uh, love the Grinch, but it was it was really hot. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Well, you're looking hot now, my dear. Looking good. Nice costume. <laughs> Yay! And Storm Chaser, what do we have here? Are you a clown? <laughs> I'm, I'm not wearing a costume. 
<laughs> oh, this is the usual. This is the regular storm chaser, everybody. He this loves is, Halloween because he can just be himself. Makeup. And this is you without makeup. Wow. <laughs> Looking good. <laughs> I like what you've done with your hair. Everyone give our wonderful contestants uh, a round of applause, please. They're here to play some Tic Tac trivia. Please make sure you favorite them as well. And please make sure you're favoriting the top three of the stream because whoever the top gifter is at the end will be your stream king or queen. It will show it on IG. There are even lights up here. It'll be very exciting. Woo! All right. Do you two have any questions about the rules, about the show? So in audience trivia, we usually type our questions. And then that's how we yes. get So I have yet to check out the featured. So what is the difference? Yes. Okay. That's a great question. So after the show, guys, we do play audience edition Tic Tac Trivia where you guys can come and play and whoever types first uh, answer is the is the winner. Then they get their name on a little piece of paper. Whoever gets three in a row gets a chance at the bonus round. So here you guys take turns. So I'm going to have my little popper uh, and then we're going to see who goes first. And then you get to pick a category. Uh, Storm Chaser, I get to pick a category. We go back to you. They'll all flip around. Um, so here, the difference is that it's just you two against each other. The audience will help you. They're your, they're your helpers or hinderers, depending. So, okay. <laughs> all right, so let's get started. I'm gonna take that off because yeah, it's hot. All right. Now I'm going to get you to do a little popper first. Let's go here. Give it a little pop. Oh, and you have a six, a six. That's a great start. All right, Storm Chaser, your turn. Pop away your mask. I can't. Okay. <laughs> two. All right, and a two. That means Melville is going first. And Melville, do you want to be X's or O's? The X's. The X's. The X's. All right. Melville, so that means X on the top. All right, Melville, that means you can just start us off. What category? would you like um let's start with tv and movies tv and movies excellent all right great category all right here's your tv and movies question it is a twilight zone question twilight zone question all right complete this introductory line you unlock this door with the key of blank. You unlock this door with the key of blank. Um, you unlock this door with the key of... By the way, the audience can help, so I... I they believe... sure can, you guys, because... Yeah. <laughs> you feel free to call on them if they're not... Say anything. That's right. You guys are welcome to help our contestants if you know the answer. Uh, there are no imagination. hints. Imagination. All right. Well, you know what? It's a good thing that you went with that answer because it is indeed correct. Hey, we have a Twilight Zone fan. <laughs> I love the Twilight Zone, the old ones. They're so well written. All right. We're going to get our X on the board for Melville. That was TV and movies. All right, Storm Chaser, you getting a little warm there in the in the mask? Well, I can't see. I can't see, so I'm gonna. Yeah. Gonna <laughs> All right. Yeah, seeing seeing is is crucial to trivia, I think. All right, what um what category would you like? Uh, let's see. Um, oh, history. History. All right, good choice. Let's get a history question here. I'm old. I should be good at this. All right, let's see. All right, yeah, country's not my forte. I look at the question and I'm like, okay, so here's your history question. What country did FLQ terrorists fly off to as part of the deal that ended the October crisis? Oh, uh, what was the FL? What was it? So what country did FLQ terrorists fly off to as part of the deal that ended the October crisis? I know. So I looked at the question and I was like, oh. 
it's either I think it's Ethiopia or or somewhere in the Caribbean. I'm going to say Ethiopia. Ethiopia, final answer. Okay. And that is incorrect, unfortunately. It was Cuba we were looking for. Uh, okay. I was right Cuba. about the Caribbean part. There you go. Good try, Storm Chief. Good try. All right, we're going to go back over to Melville, and our categories are going to switch around. Hints are allowed in the audience, by the Hints way. Hints are allowed. That's right. I yep. was responding you back guys... to Michael who asked, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were asking me for a hint. I was like, okay. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Belle Belle, what category would you like? Um, the 90s. The 90s. All right. That's by Jam. All right, here's your 90s question. What 90s mafia film features Joe Pesci, Ray Liotta, and Robert De Niro? <laughs> Storm Chaser. They were a hard one. Good fellas. They were a hard one. Good I fellas. Get, he gets good fellas. Come on. Ooh. You picked history. I don't, what do you expect? Just kidding. Well, that's, that's true. That's true. <laughs> I'm not going to be celebrating right. too much tonight. <laughs> All right, Storm Chaser, over to you. What category would you like? Uh, is that sports to the left? I got a blocker, so. Oh, that's 2000. That is sports. Board, I can't read. Let's do oh, uh, the 2000s. 2000 sports is here. 2000 sports. Yeah, up, oh, upper blocker, left. Sorry. Yeah, upper left. All right. Here is your 2000s question. Whose song in the club spent nine weeks at the top of the Billboard Hot 100 in 2003? Yeah, okay. Whose song in the club? All right, help anyone. I don't know this. <laughs> All right, help in the comments. He's looking for whose song in the club spent nine weeks at the top of Billboard of the Billboard Hot 100 in 2003. Not, all right, 50 cent. All right, and that is correct. It is indeed 80 cent or 50 you, cent, if you want to sound a little bit. <laughs> Out of the loop. <laughs> right on, we go. All right. So that's one on the board for Storm Chaser with the block for the 2000s. All right, and our categories are going to switch around. All right, Melba, what category would you like? Uh, sports. Sports. Excellent. All right, let's get a sports question. Let's get a sports question. That's a leisure question. All right, here's your sports question. Who hurled four no-hitters in a 25-month stretch starting in May 1973? Can I answer it? Oh, you know that one? I was like, that's so <laughs> random. <laughs> yep. All right. Who hurled four no-hitters in a 25-month stretch starting in May 1973? Not Taylor Swift. Stop typing that. <laughs> I love it. Brad Pitt is my go-to. I'm just like, everything's Brad Pitt. <laughs> uh, Nolan Ryan. Yep, Five that's years. it. Nolan. <laughs> Storm Chasers already answered it. It is indeed Nolan Ryan. Woo, you guys are on fire tonight. All right, so that's sports. Oops, that's an X. All right, woo, Bell Bell's dominating the board right now here on Tic Tac Trivia. If you guys are just getting here, our contestants are taking turns answering trivia questions, trying to get three X's or O's in a row. And if they do, they move on to the bonus round. We are on our way to our first bonus round right now. So please make sure you're favoriting my lovely contestants here. We have Mel Bell and we have Storm Chaser, woo. 
And please make sure you're favoriting the top three gifters of the stream. Whoever the top gifter is at the end will get their name and lights, a little shout out on IG, a little flyer. It'll be very exciting. And if you do want to be on the show, hit up uh, Emoji J or Zen Kitty in the comments and on their IG, and we'll get you on the show. All right, let's get back to it. Melo, what category would you like? Uh, uh, she, you can't go twice in a row. Oh, sorry. She got the last question. <laughs> I got the sports one, yeah. My bad. Okay, sorry, everybody. Here, let me I just do this. Do and take two. All right. So, sorry, sorry, Chaser. <laughs> what category would I don't you mind. like? <laughs> I, don't, I don't mind at all. Who's she in charge around here? <laughs> I'm just enjoying the scenery. That's all. So. <laughs> that's what's up. All right. What category would you like, Storm Chaser? Uh, whatever's at the bottom right. The bottom right. That is wild. That is our wild category. So that could be anything. Uh, All right. Just, just it's going to be a... Uh, uh, never mind. <laughs> All right. God, how Here well. is your wild question. And it is a history question. It's a history question. So you're in luck here. Yep. Which American politician <laughs> won the Nobel Peace Prize for his part in negotiating an end to U.S. involvement in Vietnam? <laughs> Which American politician won the Nobel Peace Prize for his part in negotiating an end to U.S. involvement in Vietnam? Now, it wasn't a president because the only one that won is Obama, not George Washington. It's not Trump. I'm just reading all these. Oh yeah, it would be Henry Kissinger. <laughs> yeah, that, thank you. I, I'm not, that tweaked my memory. I like Kissinger the answer. Kissinger final though. answer. Yeah, Kissinger. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't sound like. I like. I would go that with is correct. <laughs> He's my go-to. Henry Kissinger. All right, that means you get to put your O wherever you like on the board, Storm Chaser, where there is not currently an X or O already. Uh, I'll put it where uh, where the wild was so I can block her. On the wild for the block again. All right. Now our categories are going to slip around here. All right. And now we do have a steal category on the board. And the steal means that you're able to steal one of your opponent's spots. Unfortunately, you aren't able to take the steal spot. So you must steal if you're taking the steal. Go for All right, science. Mabel, no, what go category? For science. Go for science. Go for science. <laughs> so, I, so I'm allowed to pick a steal? You sure are. Don't yeah, if you get the steal correct, then you can steal one of his spots. All right. And then well, she I can win. How rude. <laughs> Well, you should win by answering. Oh, never mind. Go ahead. You know. Well, she has to answer the steal to get the steal, right? Yes. I know. I know. You're right. Go for the steal. Okay. That's fine. All right. All right. Can I get a? It's okay with storm chasing. Can I get a Pardon me. Yeah, you don't have to. You, don't, you need my permission. I know. I just want to make sure that you're not too upset over there. I'll do the steal. I will not. No, the no, no, steal. No. Like I said, I'm enjoying the view. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm just, just here to help the ball club. <laughs> all right. So the steal is um, all the pink categories are wild categories. Um, and I have a wild category for you. All right. Category is celebrities. Celebrities. All right. And if you get it correct, you're able to steal one of uh, Storm Chaser's spot. If you get it incorrect, then we just continue on with the game. All right. On which magazine cover did Caitlyn Jenner make her first appearance? Um, it's a trick question. <laughs> oh, maybe not. Yeah. But on which? On <laughs> not, <laughs> the Playboy is wild. Um, I'm going to say Vanity Fair. Vanity Fair. I was going to say Sports Illustrated because it was Bruce Jenner who appeared on that one. Okay. <laughs> you would be correct, Melville. It is, in fact, Vanity Fair. So, either one. Now, you have got. Any of his spots, I'm going to win. So, I will go for the top left. The top left. All right. 
And that means that you have three X's in a row and you are moving on to the bonus round. Woo! But don't worry, Storm Chaser. You still have another shot at the bonus round. And if time allows, even one more. So the winner is not yet to be determined. All right, we're going to get out the bonus round here. Oh, hello. And we'll explain real quick how that goes. All right, welcome to the bonus round. Congratulations, Melville. All right. Woo. So you are going to pick numbers one through nine. And you're going to keep picking numbers, trying to get three X's or O's in a row. And if you do, then you have won one of the bonus rounds. Very exciting, giving you a point ahead of your opponent here. But if you find a dragon, then you are out and we're headed back to our categories. Here on the app, we want a dragon, but not in this bonus round. If you find one, then you lose. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just a bonus round. You don't know the whole game. All right. So, Melville, feel free to take advice from the audience. If you guys want to say some numbers, tell us some numbers, shout out numbers. And, Melville, you can start her off and keep choosing until you find the dragon or you find the three X's or O's. I'm going to go numbers would you like? with a number. Uh, four. Four. All right. All right. Keep choosing. I'm seeing four, seven, um, five, eight in the comments. Go for it, Melville. Two, a number. Uh, six. Six. All right. Let's go with six. All right, still in the game, still in the game. Let's go. Keep choosing. Um, number seven. Seven. All right, lucky number seven. Let's see. Woo! Way and, to go. And since we won uh, with that top left, let's go for number one. Number one. All right, let's see. Will be a dragon. Will be the O. Will it be an X. Let's see. Woo! And it's an X. Not a win, but you're still in the game. Keep choosing until you find those three X's, or that dragon finds you. Let's go with my lucky number nine. Nine. All right, Melville's lucky number. Let's see. And it is a. Dragon! Oh, dang! I'm sorry that your lucky number was a dragon. Let's see where those X's or O's were hiding here. <laughs> so they were hiding there on the top. Good try, Val Val. Good try. But don't worry. Because <laughs> you still have another shot at the bonus round and if nobody wins the bonus round um then we still go into sudden death so there will be a winner here today don't leave everybody because by the end of the show we're gonna know who the winner is and we're gonna know who our stream king or queen is so it's gonna be really exciting all right so i'm gonna go reset the board and while i do um we would love to hear a little bit about you two melbell storm chaser tell us about yourselves your stream uh what you have going on uh and anything like that like that i'll let you go first well i appreciate that very sweet uh first i'd like to shout out to zen kitty and emoji j they helped me move from pof to zeus because of unforeseen circumstances i'm very grateful to both of them they helped me uh get on here so i could participate tonight uh, i don't do live streaming yet but i hope to do so in the future uh possible avenues would be weather storm chasing trivia things like that so um that's about all i got yay right on and you always come to my stream so you're awesome I know. <laughs> you're my favorite um, yay and melville what do you have going on um, my name is Mal Bell. I've been on this stream for longer than I'd like to admit. I just came back from a sabbatical. Uh, those of you who know me know I, I love just good energy, good people. I'm a hype girl on the app. 
Um, I love going to check out fellow streamers, new streamers, artists. This app has been really fulfilling for me on and off the app. I've met some people I've considered chosen family. Um, I just recently came back. I stream uh, mostly on the weekends because I teach throughout the week, but I have been coming on in the weekdays now. Um, I just had my uh, an auction, which went really well. Um, I love going and checking out new shows. This is like my third show recently. It's so much fun. Make sure you guys favorite everybody. I appreciate Lux um, having me. Make sure you guys favorite each other. Um, I don't have anything going on until like December where I'll be doing a couple other shows. However, we are in the works of getting another open mic going because it's one of my favorite things. I love to hear other artists just sharing their work. And uh, we do Q&A vibes in my stream. It's just basically to correlate conversation. And, and it could be anything from like, where would you travel to something maybe really deep, like, uh, you know, like when, you know, just like, I'm, I'm very much about like healing from the inside out and just really like leaning on each other and talking about things that people aren't always comfortable talking about because I feel like you can always get a perspective from somebody. So um, this app has for sure like been there for me on so many levels. So that's a little bit about me and just fave each other, favorite Lux. I was so excited to be a part of this tonight. So thank you for having me. <laughs> Yay, thank you so much. And I think, uh, you know, we can really um, identify with a lot of what you said here. Go ahead, Storm Chaser. Now, one more thing, uh, since you're Canadian and it really kind of hurts me, I want to uh, have a moment of silence for Matthew Perry, who passed away today. Yes, Chandler Bing. Yep, one of my favorites. Did he? Oh, I didn't yeah, he know had that. Heart attack. I just found out tonight he had too. a heart attack and drowned in his jacuzzi, they think. Oh my Cardiac goodness. Arrest. Yeah. 54 Sheesh. years old. Oh gosh. 54. Younger than, younger than me. Sarah, scary. That is scary. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let us take a moment of silence here. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. That was lovely. And we do have a TV and movies category. And actually, I did pick up, uh, speaking of that, and I should do this, um, I did pick up uh, Friends Edition, uh, Trivial Pursuit. So uh, we can have that. Right? So let's do that. Maybe next show, everybody, we can do a special uh, Friends category just for uh, just for our friends, you know, because we felt like we were their friends. I don't know. <laughs> right? Weren't we all in the group hanging yeah. out with them? Right? Yeah, that's yeah, what's no, up. Okay, we'll do that. Like all those things, I think, like come into play, like the entertainment industry, the music industry, like all. I don't know. I'm a cheese ball, but I really believe that. So, like, I love Chandler being more than the other guys. I'm just. I would say by telling my stream, like low key, like Triviani was okay with the how you do, and I said, but I love me some Chandler Bing. <laughs> so, right, <laughs> man. Hey, he had the, he, had the best line. he was so deadpan. That was what I liked about him. And sarcastic. Yeah. That was the best part about him. Yeah. It was that right. right. <laughs> now we're going to go all, we're all going to go rewatch the friends and you guys can look forward to uh, a friend's category next week. I'll add that in. Ross and we'll have a special. Too, Ross was good too. I, I literally just did the thing with my stream the other day too with friends where Ross says, Would you trade food or sex? And 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 Chandler's like and Chandler's like, and she loves me because she was like, food. <laughs> I would not give up food. <laughs> I love food. We even had a food category, actually. There you go. <laughs> yeah, we loved it so much. We ran out of food questions. And speaking of questions, if you're just getting here, this is Tic Tac Trivia, everybody. <coughs> we have our contestants, Mel Bell and Storm Chaser here. And they've um, attempted the bonus round once already here. Unfortunately, the dragon found Mel Bell. Uh, but we are on our way to another shot at the bonus round. So here on Tic Tac Trivia, our contestants are taking turns answering trivia questions, trying to get three X's or O's in a row. And if they do, they move on to the bonus round where we have 
uh, we have been once already. Uh, it's a special Halloween edition today. We're all costumed up. We have a special Halloween category. We have some decorations. And speaking of decorations, we have Al's name up here in lights. Uh, he was our stream king last day. So whoever uh, the top gifter is at the end of stream will be our stream king or queen. Get their name up there in lights. Little uh, shout out in IG. Um, yes. Yeah, so thank you. Thank you everyone so much for being here. Um, we're going to have another round here for our contestants. Since Storm Chaser lost the last one, he's going to go first, uh, choosing our category. And you guys are welcome to help our contestants in the comments. Please feel free to have fun and play trivia along with us. All right, Storm Chaser, what category would you like? Oh, got to do science. Middle. Science. All right. Science. Every Woo. I hear the song blinding her with science or whatever every time someone yeah, picks the that science was, That's one of my favorites. That was right when I was in high school. <laughs> Love that. Science! Right? <laughs> and here is your science question. What did the ancient Greeks believe to be a cross between a tiger and a horse? What did the ancient Greeks believe to be a cross between a that's tiger. Very, uh, sounds like a zoology, not science. Anyway, um, let's see. A horse and a tiger. Anybody got any ideas? Because I can't think of anything. It's the science and nature category. I couldn't fit nature onto the uh, card, okay. so I just put science. Okay. No, fine. Sometimes it's nature. Uh, Sometimes sports has leisure. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> we have, so it's a horse and a tiger. That's right. What did the ancient Greeks believe to be a cross between a tiger and a horse? Yeah, nobody Google. That's okay. But uh, wouldn't it be Sphinx? That, wouldn't be Sphinx. That's Egypt. So a uh, liger. <laughs> you know what? That's that's lion and tiger, isn't it? Uh, let's see. Uh, right. Sorry, I'm gonna give myself ten more seconds. Was it okay? Horse. Uh, it's not unicorn. an actual clock. It just gives the illusion of ticking. Uh, unicorn, no, is that your unicorn, final answer? Unicorn. That's all I got. Unicorn. All right. That is incorrect. Incorrect. It was, in fact, a zebra. I see zebra there in the oh, comments. It was a Sorry. zebra. Thank you, though. A tiger and a horse. No worries. No worries. Because there's plenty of game left to go here. Melbell. What category would you like? Well, I think get a fun question to play TV and movies. TV and movies. All right. Let's get a TV and movies question. All right, here we go. All right. Which children's TV show featured the characters Buttercup, Blossom, and bubbles. Uh, Powerpuff Girls. That is correct. It is indeed the Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> Way to go, Melda. All right, our categories are going to switch around. All right, Storm Chaser, what category would you like? Uh, middle, whatever. Is that the 90s? Uh, the whatever the middle one the is. Middle. Oh, that, that's even better. <laughs> the 80s is better? Okay, right. That's what's up. All right, let's get us an yeah, 80s. You were born, none of you were born in, well, I don't know. I was born. <laughs> I was born in 81. Yeah, barely. 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 <laughs> But then, like, the 90s are my jam, because that's when I was old enough to enjoy yeah. it, right? Yeah, that's true. All right. So here is your 80s question. Finish this cutting crew lyric. Oh, I I just died in your arms tonight. It must have been something blank. You said. That is correct. I think we have that on the other. That is correct. My favorite, my right. favorite group. My favorite group. Were they really? Ah, yep. That's what's up. I didn't want to sing it because I didn't think I'd do it any justice. Maybe we'll try that later in the after show. That would be cool. We should do right. karaoke trivia. Right? <laughs> I, we can, we can try that, that later. Yeah. yeah. 
I'll bring out my sweet microphone. It'll be awesome. All right, Melville, <laughs> back over to you. What category would you like? Um, I will go with the 90s. The 90s. All right. Let's get us a 90s category. And that's our jam. We just talked about that, right? All right. Here is your 90s question. Who sued Levi Strauss in 1993 for using his song Heart Attack and Vine in a TV ad? Um, Who sued Levi Strauss in 1993 for using his song Heart Attack and Vine in a TV ad? I will... Uh... I think Dub Dubnerich is right. Anybody else? You're welcome to uh, to help uh, the lovely Melbo if you guys want. In the comments, the question was, who sued Levi Strauss in 1993 for using his song Heart Attack and Vine in a TV ad? I will say too legit for the final answer. Thank you. Too legit. All right. That is a incorrect answer good try the answer was tom waits tom waits, tom waits actually yeah Weird. i know that was that was a hard 90s one <laughs> <laughs> right yeah storm kings are back over to you <laughs> gonna switch around. And the Halloween category is all <laughs> Halloween questions. You, you there. need to make a bigger board for us blind people. We're supposed to, Renzo. That's why I was asking the audience. Right. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm like, did I bring you closer? Uh, <laughs> all right, I got it now. Uh, let's do let's do 90s. No, no, no. 90s. Wait a minute. Let's, let's, no, can we do no, science okay. instead? Yeah. We'll do science let's instead. Let's do science. All right. Let's get us a science. I can't do question. well in that category. I can't do well in any of them. All right. Let's go. Let's get you a science question. Thank you, Doug. What hormone yeah. enables women to have a sense of smell superior to men? What hormone enables women to have a sense of smell superior to it's men? It's not Taylor Swift. Stop it. <laughs> 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 It, uh, you know, it's the obvious answer would be estrogen, so I'll go with it. Estrogen, all right, and that is indeed correct. The answer is estrogen. Woo, way to go. All right, and we're going to get you an O for the... Science. History. <laughs> science. No, no, thank no, you. science. <laughs> thank you, darling. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hold on. And take two. All right. Melville, what category? Halloween. Would you like? Yay. Yay. Oh, how exciting. I'm excited. <laughs> and if you're just getting here, <laughs> this is a special Halloween edition of Tic Tac Trivia, where our contestants are taking turns answering trivia questions, trying to get three X's and zeros in a row. And if they do, they move on to the bonus round. Melba has had her chance at the bonus round already, but unfortunately, the dragon found her. But we're on our way there again. So please make sure you're favoriting my wonderful contestants here, as well as the top three gifters. Whoever's the top at the end of the show will be a stream king or queen. Your name and lights will shout out on IG. If you want to be in the show, hit up Emoji Jairs and Kitty in the comments. And we, well, not in the comments, but in their IG. And then we'll get you on the show. All right. And back to the show. And here's our Halloween question. Okay. Here is our Halloween question. I'm excited. Okay. In the movie, it's the great pumpkin Charlie Brown. Who does Linus mistake? For the great pumpkin in the movie it's the great pumpkin charlie brown who does linus mistake for the great pumpkin snoopy oh that was the wrong button i was gonna do the time <laughs> <laughs> that is incorrect the answer is snoop dog this is indeed snoopy way to go i'm so sorry how disappointing for you i meant to hit the timer 
Wow, I'm on tonight. Okay, that's that's three in a row of those. All right, that was indeed Snoopy. Guys, I need one of those for my life. I need a, <laughs> I I need adore a her. two for my life. <laughs> It's I'm just her, like, that she's like, I got this. <laughs> I mentioned it. <laughs> I want, I want that like, for what? <laughs> I didn't get a Halloween question, right? <laughs> when it's live, you just got to go with the flow. You're like, things are going to go wrong. So okay, for those of you who were in that game, I recently lost a game to a Care Bears question, and I always get called a Care Bear just to be made fun of. And so it was like, so if I had lost on a Halloween question, the trauma was real. <laughs> right, right. I'm so sorry. Now she has PTSD for these game shows, you guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that is correct. You got the Halloween question correct. There you go. All right, we're going to go back over to Storm Chaser, and our categories are going to switch around here. Thank you. All right, Storm Chaser. What category would you like? Uh, let's see. Why don't uh, I'll do the the bottom middle? I'll do that chance. I'll do chance. It is chance. That's right. So if you get that correct, you have the chance to go again. If you get it incorrect, uh, Mel Bell will have a chance to steal. A chance to steal. I'm teeing it up for you, Mel. I'm teeing it up for you. Right. Just be ready. <laughs> okay. All right. So here is your question and it is a um a random category because it's wild so it's a halloween question how exciting right. that'll work that'll work <laughs> Woo! all right your random halloween question which candy which candy was handed out to soldiers during the korean war which candy was handed out to soldiers during the korean war What candy? Wow. I had fun looking these up too. I found some interesting facts about Halloween. So we're going to finish the questions later if we don't during the show. <laughs> well, let's see. I've seen a couple. Uh, Cracker Jack's too old, I think. Um, the wouldn't question be paid. was, which candy was handed out to soldiers during the Korean War? I was thinking candy corn too. Let's go with that one. Candy corn. Okay. Candy rolls, corn I is. Already said, I already said. Go ahead. Correct. Corn. Okay. Okay. So candy corn was incorrect. I should have said final answer. Sorry. No, that's fine. Okay. No. And Melville, that gives you the chance to steal. It was not um, what Storm Chaser said. <laughs> The question is, which candy was handed out to soldiers during the Korean War? What, what was the answer? What was the answer? Tootsie no. Rolls. <laughs> oh, oh okay. Tootsie Rolls I is your answer? Do. Final Thank answer? You. Okay. That is correct. That is correct. It is indeed Tootsie Rolls. They were accidentally dropped to American troops, um, and they used them to nourish themselves and also to plug bullet holes. Sorry, I didn't mean to jump on you, Mel. I thought I thought she had to answer a different okay. question. She had to answer that one. Oh, I okay. see. Okay, yeah, that's right. So if you don't get it right, then she gets the opportunity. Gotcha. That's the only well, one where you get the chance to that's, steal. That's cool. She got it right. That's what matters. <laughs> you did get it right. All right, that was a chance By the way, question. Guys, so I I am not like. I, my, I'm hosting um, a block party on my block, so I'm checking on my child um, to make sure she's nearby. So I was not doing really anything. Honestly, I'm here for fun. And everybody's allowed to help everybody for like the comments that I see in the comments. Um, we're allowed to look at the comments. You guys can help us both. Like, honestly, like let's just have some fun. Okay. Yes. Like <laughs> oh, I'm not even, I didn't even see. That's right. That's what's up. You guys are able to help our contestants help no, or hinder them. Better. Like I was just like, yeah, so that's fun. right. Like I'm you don't need to apologize. Right. You guys can help him out too, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's up. We all came here to have fun to answer these questions. Yeah, um, help, the, help the pretty girl. You know, leave, leave the old guy alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Speaking of that, Olga, I think it might be your turn. I think the categories are going to switch. No, no, it wasn't because you got the chance wrong. No, it's Mel Bell. They don't stole switch. It, she gets totally to take five. Mel <laughs> Bell. I, I could use that for my work. <laughs> okay, so. Right? <laughs> what category would you like? I need it in my life. I <laughs> reset all the time. Melville, you're up. What category would you like? You got that one right. Uh, you stole it from Storm Chaser. Now you get to choose. Um, let's go for... Let's do Halloween again. Halloween. All right. Let's get a Halloween question. All right. Here is your Halloween question. Which famous magician died on Halloween? Which famous musician died on Halloween? Oh, can I help her? <laughs> I'm so used to helping from have... the sidelines. I know, right? Yeah. I mean, you, I guess you can type. You could still type in the comments. Honestly, I, <laughs> I've had contestants well, I, help each other, so it's not Honestly, Fabio. I, That's uh, a good one, though. <laughs> the only well. Uh, Houdini is wild up, man. <laughs> um, you said which you famous said. musician, sorry, which famous magician actually died on Halloween? Really? I'm going to take the me. audience's help and say Houdini. All right. It well, it's a good thing you did. It I is. You got it. Harry Houdini died on Halloween, uh, 1926. I thought that was too obvious, so thank you. Right, wasn't it? Yeah. Like I said, I had fun getting these questions. All right. So that's Melda there. And back over to Storm Chaser, a category we're going to switch around here. I'm waiting for the steel category to come up. Intense. All right, <laughs> storm chaser. What category would you like? Oh, it is. I do see the steel there. I'll take that. And the steel. All right, let's get you a steel question. All right. Hi, Jampy. And here we go. Here is your steel question. What superhero? As a young sidekick named Robin. Batman. Batman is indeed <laughs> correct. I'll take, Woo, I'll I'll take the upper right. Storm chaser. All right, on the I'll upper take, right. Yeah. Oh, right with the O. Oh. <laughs> I'm new <Yes>. here. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, woo, that means you are going on to the bonus round. Woo. But don't worry, Melville. Don't go away just yet because if that dragon finds Storm Chaser, then we are going to sudden death. Last time I had it, I got the dragon on the first try. <laughs> Ultimate try death? What is it called? <laughs> Right? <laughs> right. So, oh, no. <laughs> Hold on. There's something wrong with our bonus round there. No, it looked great. I want to pick the top three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right? <laughs> Whew, I am on tonight. All right. So here we go. Here's our bonus round. Storm Chaser has made it here. Don't look at that. All right. Storm Chaser is going to choose numbers one through nine. Trying to get three X's and zeros in a row. And if he does, he wins. He wins TikTok trivia today. But he finds a dragon, and then he's out of there. And we we're gonna go, go to sudden to death because I'm gonna pick the dragon. Sudden the death. <laughs> yep. All right, you guys are welcome to help him or hinder him. I guess you can't hinder him. That's the other part. You can help him along. Yeah, and uh, right, <laughs> you you don't know <laughs> what numbers do you think he should choose. Go for it, Star Chaser. Uh, let's go with one. One. Yep. Yeah. Yep, I did. Right I off the bat, he I did. Told you I, would. <laughs> I told you I would. And that means we're going to sudden death. <laughs> At least your manifestation is on point. <laughs> I, I got to think about other things I'd like to manifest. <laughs> Woo! All right. Woo! Speaking of manifesting, nice. this is sudden death. 
<laughs> so you guys want to find the dragon now here. So both of you have been booped out of the bonus round. Now you want to find it. Whoever the first person to find the dragon will be our winner of Tic Tac Trivia today. All right. I'm going to do my little popper here to see who goes first. So Melba, that's you. And it's a six. All right. Okay. Storm Chaser. <laughs> and a three. Yes. Oh my gosh. The mystery of the popper. So it means Melbell, you start us off. Start choosing numbers. You look for that dragon. Whoever finds the dragon first is our winner here tonight. Let's go with number seven. Seven. All right. Lucky number seven. <gasps> All right. <laughs> Storm Chaser, what number would you like? Six. Six. All right. And that's the dragon there. Oh my goodness. I'll turn the rest over. Even though it doesn't really matter where everything was. The, the first time I played, uh, the number was under six also. So I said, oh, was I'm it? Go oh, with really? That yep. So lucky number. Congratulations. Everybody, round of applause for Storm Chaser, our big winner here today. Also a round of applause for Melville. Thank you for playing. Melba was our winner of Audience Edition uh, last time, so feel free to join <laughs> us afterwards again for that. Any words from our winner here today, Storm Chaser? Uh, let's see. I had an absolute blast. You ladies are wonderful. Thanks to the audience. I had a great time. Let's do this again. Mel, if you ever want a rematch, let me know. All right. I'm ready for it. Let's, you know, stick around <laughs> for Audience Edition. I always love having fun there, so. All right. We'll do that. Yay! Thanks, That's Fox. what's up. Woo, sure congratulations. <clears throat> you're welcome. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Um, you're our big winner here. Woo, hey. way to go. <laughs> Round of applause, everybody. And Melba, any words from our wonderful Melba today? Thank you so much for being on uh, my show. Congratulations, Mark. And again, thank you thank for you. having us. This was a lot of fun. Um, I, I'm glad you won and I, I hope this was like a nice intro, like, and hopefully motivates you to stream and, and just see how amazing the people are. I appreciate everyone that came out here just to drop those unicorns, just to hang out with me all day. I genuinely appreciate it. And hopefully Mark got to see just how amazing this app can be. There's nobody that supports me more than a group of strangers sometimes. So thank y'all. So thank you again. That's what's up. All right. Thank you. Well said, Melville. Right on. Yay. Thank you so much for coming in. Everyone give my wonderful stick contestants. Stick around for audience edition. I'm coming again. <laughs> Yay. That's what's up. That's right, you guys. After the show's over, I'm going to take off for a little bit, put the kiddos to bed, uh, and in an hour, we're going to come back. We're going to play audience edition uh, Tic Tac uh, Trivia. Mel Bell was our winner last day. Yes. Yep. Right? Let's Yay. Thanks Thank so you. much. <laughs> Woo. Round of applause. Please, favorite. These amazing, amazing people go check out their streams. Um, as well as please favorite the top three gifters of my stream. Whoever the top gifter is in just a moment here, uh, we will declare as a stream king or queen. They'll get a uh, their name in lights. Al was our stream king last day. A little shout out on IG and a little flyer. So that'll be really exciting. I'm going to just set a, a timer here now if I can find it. Where is the timer? Well, that's the timer. I'm new here. Oh, here we go. All right. One minute on the clock. I want... <laughs> How many times did I pull up that clapboard tonight? Too many. <laughs> so the time is up, one. guys. I'm gonna buy one of those. <laughs> Isn't it great? I love it. Ooh. When I worked at... <laughs> When I worked at the restaurant and things would go awry, I would actually like leave the restaurant and come back in as though I was starting my shift over. So I like the clapboard. I use that in my work. Yeah, my work would love that. I'll do the use that <laughs> on my boss. <laughs> I'm sure your boss would love that. <laughs> if you guys are just getting here, this is just the tail end of Tic Tac Trivia. Um, Storm Chaser was our winner today. He found the dragon in final death or sudden death. I can't remember what to call it. Um, and it was so fun. We just have a few more seconds. Whoever the top gifter is at the end, will get their name and lights. A little shout out on IG. Um, and we'll all cheer in about two seconds. It will be very exciting. All right. Woohoo! 
All right. And Adam Fire is our top gifter right. this stream. He will get uh, his name and lights and a little shout out on IG and a little flyer. Yay. And everyone, that was Tic Tac Trivia with your host, Lux. That's me. All right. Oh, that's perfect. And that's a wrap. <laughs> Yay! I love when the timing works out like that. Uh, 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 uh. Woo! Way to go, you guys. Nicest love... show ever. Was it so good? That was so much fun. That was fun. I, yeah. No, I oh. and play play with my better. eyes and find my child yeah, outside. <laughs> Right, yeah, you find your kid, and what did you say, Storm Chase? And you know what, the contestants make it too, right? Like right. the best show is the best show. I mean, it was hilarious. Thank you so much. Yay! Thank you so much. Thanks for being on. You, you're amazing contestants. So that really makes the show. If you guys were in here yawning and sleeping, which you know does happen, and I totally understand because it used to be really late. So, <laughs> so it's great that you're here. Yeah, right? It was so late. It's so nice now. So, you guys, I'm going to head on out of here. I'm going to go put the kiddo to bed. And then we will be back in an hour for audience edition Tic Tac Trivia. So, you guys, come on and uh, and play with that. Grab your snacks. Grab your drinks. Uh, put on your costumes. Yeah, and I'll, I'm going to go back to Sunny's. Okay, I'm going to go back to Sunny's and be in the, um, the masquerade. I didn't get to do my masquerade yet. So, I'll go over there. And then I'll take yeah. off and then I'll come back. Yeah, make sure you guys favorite everyone. Okay, bye. Have a good night again. Yes. That's what's up. Bye, Melba. Thank bye. you. Bye. Bye, Storm Chasey. Thanks for coming. You're fantastic. Bye, everyone. Thank you so much. I'm going to head over to Sunny's, do my masquerade, uh, and then I'll take off and I'll come back in an hour for Audience Edition. Thank you so much for joining me. Give yourselves a round of applause, too. Uh, we couldn't do it without you. It wouldn't be a show without you guys. Bye, everybody.